the uh, the most important question we got to know: uh, are, are there any Vix picks outside of the main event? I mean, have you been have you been breaking down the rest of this card? You know, I haven't uh, I haven't went in super deep on the card. Um, I haven't decided honestly. On, I'll, I'll release them Saturday. Nice. Check have, my Twitter. Have you made the move on you? Are you still, are you still monitoring the line no, on I'm you? I'm waiting or? for the line to drop. When the line comes down, I'm betting the house. Okay. It's it's coming down slowly. I see it. It's coming down. So since I look all skinny and always at weigh-ins, I hopefully people are like, oh, you know, everyone thinks, oh, he had a bad weight cut. Then I then it'll come down even more. That's well, the plan. You, you do always look rough on weight yeah, cut. How, I mean, how are you feeling right now? I mean, I, I, it sucks. It's never good, but I mean, I'm, it's not any worse or better than usual. It's basically the same as always. How much further do you have to go? I only got five, like five and a half pounds left, so I'll do like three, three more tonight, and then maybe two, two and a half in the morning. When you get to these moments, do you think I'm not long for 155 anymore? I'm, I'm too, I'm too tall. I'm too big. I gotta maybe move up. Well, you always think that, and then they, you know, then they write that check, and then I'm like, okay, I can do this again. <laughs> Honestly, a lot, a lot of my, my, my stuff comes from my diet. Honestly, I have a bad diet. You know, I'm not even gonna lie. You know, if I'm not quite as big as people think I am. I'm very tall, but my bone structure is very small. I just, I'm, uh, I just, I eat a lot of sugar, man. I'm, I'm a sugar addict, like literally, like it's a, it's a problem. So if, if, I, if I cut down on that, I'd probably walk around a good 10, 15 pounds lighter than what I naturally do. So if, I mean, if 165 ever did come around, would you be like one of the first ones with your hand in the air? Oh, for sure, for sure. Do you ever consider 170? Oh yeah, I, I mean, my, my goal is to become a world champion, you know, defend it a couple times and then move up. Nice. But right now, I'd have to start all over if I did that. You know, if I move up right now, I gotta start back at ground zero. Well, last thing for me, uh, I want to ask you what you think about Justin's kind of rhetoric that he's thrown out there this week. That you, you know, you you can't go through the test that he has. Yes, he's got some losses, but you know, those guys were top of the food chain and they dug deep, and you don't have that within you as your character. What would name one fight that I've given up in? Even the fight that I got lost, I lost to Benil Darius. I went out like a fucking warrior. I got knocked the fuck out, but I, I didn't give up. And I didn't quit, you know what I'm saying? My body wouldn't function anymore, but I fucking kept fighting, you know? Name one fight I've given up on. There ain't no, he's delusional. Everybody in the top echelon of the UFC has heart. All of us have heart. Why do you think we're here? So he's making a, a serious mistake if he believes that. He's also making a serious mistake if he thinks that I'm not ready for that war. He thinks that I believe I could avoid that war. I know I might not be able to avoid it. I could. I could go in there and knock him out quick and catch him quick. But I might not, and I'm fully aware and, and mentally prepared for all that. So when he says that he doesn't like your character, you you run from a fight, you avoid things. Um, does that does that bug you to hear him say that? No, no he's an idiot. I, I don't really care to be honest with you. Sorry, I'm sweating. I literally just left the sauna. So the Homer Simpson comments, man, where did those come from? That's hilarious. I mean, it's kind of I mean, just being honest. I mean, look at the guy fights like that. Just being honest. Does, does that animosity or like uh, the fact that he reacted to those comments um, might play into the fight or your game plan is the same regardless? I think he's going to fight the way he fights regardless. It didn't really matter, you know. Like I don't really think there's much I can, you know, th no matter what I say or what he says, he's going to fight the way he fights. There has been a lot of talk going back and forth, you know, with you guys as the fight's getting closer. But are you just happy that you finally got an opportunity at an upper echelon guy? For sure, you know, I've, I've worked my entire life to get here. You know, this is going to change my life Saturday night. For sure. Cool. Uh, last time we talked, you know, it was right after you, you accepted the fight in, in Maryland and, and flew in. Uh, what, how have things kind of changed for you over that, that course in the last, you know, two months, two and a half months? Nothing's really changed. I mean, I went home for a little bit, you know, when between fights, between camps, and then came back and started training. Sorry, I just let the sun so sweat. <laughs> what were the Homer Simpson comments? I'm, I apologize, I missed that, but if you could. Well, he just, um, uh, you know, the dude takes beatings. Have you ever watched that episode of The Simpsons where Homer gets the shit beat out of him? He looks like Gaethje. <laughs> <laughs>